All right, so recently, well, for me, it was like 10 minutes ago, but I recorded the video of taking only players who have their name on the Stanley Cup. Uh, I went off of Wikipedia for that one, and I hope it's accurate. It's Wikipedia, who really knows, but hoping for the best. Anyways, yeah, um, we are now going to do a draft where players have not found their way onto the Cup just yet. For the most part, I should know, but if I have any sort of internal debate with myself like did they then i will yeah just look it up but anyways here we go so randomize the team here and it doesn't matter what your name is jabroni because i'm substituting a team again that's right you heard it here first custom teams and i think it's only fitting that i take a toronto team for the non-stanley cup boom let's do the toronto tropics i think that is all right let's do it toronto tropics boom here we go nice good stuff good stuff and we are in the metro for some reason, but whatever. Let's just take it in stride. You know, it's just because it really doesn't matter at all. We're going to be division rivals with Toronto. I'll move Tampa over here to the metro just because, I don't know, why not? Actually, I feel like Tampa and Florida should be in the same thing. Maybe all the, you know, these Canadian teams in the east can all be here. So I'm going to move Boston over, actually. Head coach edit lines. Don't even think about it, Jay Brone. We have player morale on, but I'll turn off meeting. CPUs trade all you want. Salary cap on. All right, we should be good to go. Which draft pick will we obtain? I'm going to guess seven again. Screw it. Why not? You know, lucky number seven. Let's see. We didn't get it the first time. We ended up with, I think it was 25. So let's see what we get this time around. 20. Awesome. I love that. That's great. Oh, okay. Well, Huberto is back to back. I now see a problem with me using a custom team. All right, we'll just use this team then, I suppose. And before everyone gets all up in arms, like, oh, Toronto. Yeah, well, I, first of all, I'm from the area, okay? And I want them to succeed. So I'm allowed to jab at them if I want to. But yeah, now I'm wondering what players were duplicated in the last one, because I used a custom team. And I know there were some good players on that team too, so I don't know, but I, whatever. It is what it is. Maybe I ended up missing out on some possible Stanley Cup players I could have drafted. I was closer with seven this time. Well, because of the six million, I think I'm gonna take Huberdeau. He is 27, 91. You just can't go wrong with that. Let's take Connor Hellebuck at 6.1 million, 90 overall. Guy hasn't won a cup and he is very good. Claude Giroux, sure, why not? He can be the centerman for that first line. I Oh, I need to start getting some defensemen soon. Definitely, I think defensemen are pretty important. They already took Zegra. Well, I mean, I guess he has a lot of potential, but still, that's a little early, don't you think? Jeff Petrie it is. 87 overall and 5.5 million. Yes, please. You know what? In honor of that pick that I just witnessed, I'm going to pick up Cole Caulfield because he could possibly, this could be the last time we could take him in a draft like this, the way Montreal's playing right now. Sonk hasn't won a cup. There we go. That's 6.3 million. It's a little, little hefty, but we'll make it work. We could take Hoffman. 85 overall, 4 million. That's not bad. So, yeah, let's do it. I don't know why I'm doing this, but screw it. I see other teams doing it, so I'm going to take Perfetti and just see what happens. He's going to be our fourth line center, I suppose. Or maybe third line. We'll just see where he fits. Ryan Suter, why not? 7.5 million, but we have been very responsible so far with our draft pick, so I think we can afford the cap. I'm not exactly sure why, but I just really feel like taking Anders Lee. And so Anders Lee, I will take. There we go. Ooh, Cholowski. Is that like Mike Wazowski? I don't even... 80 overall. I don't even know if I've heard of that guy. Wow. All right. Good for him. Ooh, let's take Zach Hyman. That's pretty good. 83 overall and 2 million. That's very decent. Once again, I think because we've been fairly responsible with our cap so far, we can afford the extra cap later on here with these players. So let's try some Zuccarello on for size. Edler. Yeah, we could take Edler. 84 overall, 6 million. There we go. Jumbotron. Let's go, Jumbo. Absolutely, you're on the team. Fire me vertical. Nick Felino. There it is. He is a left wing slash center. We could possibly use him as a centerman or we could just toss him on the left slash right wing. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll have the lines put together. All right. We don't need to worry about lines right now. The Wayne train. Let's go. 81 overall. 32. 1.5 million. Yes, sir. Oh, we still don't have a backup goalie. I don't know if I'm that worried about, you know, that whole situation. Honestly, I think we're fine. Let's take Bobby Ryan. $1 million, 82 overall. He's up there in age 33, but you know what? We'll make it work. I have zero faith in this team, so naturally they're going to do a lot better than the team in the last video. Jason Demers. Yeah, why not? $4 million. Yeah, we'll take him. So we basically need a goalie and another defenseman. I mean, I'm not too worried. I think we're in decent shape here. So apparently Goligoski actually won a cup with the Penguins. I had no idea that existed. Hamannick will be our... You know what, actually? Maybe I should take Sherratt. 
I'm thinking I'm gonna take Sherratt instead. Oh, he was drafted by the Atlanta Thrashers. Absolutely, we're taking him. Yes, sir. Let's see what's even left for goalies. We might have... Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Hank. Don't mind if I do, honestly. And with that, the draft is complete. Let's go put these lines together and see how how bad we actually are. Hey, look, it's Laferriere. That's like, if Lafreniere does something really dirty in the playoffs like five years from now, that's going to be his evil twin that's going to come in and take his spot. Like when Tom Wilson gets taken out, slap, you know, a mustache and a monocle on him, and all of a sudden he's Tim Winston. I'm a little worried about this team. I think this team's worse than the other one, but honestly, it, who even knows? Who knows? This could end up being much better. All right, here's the team. We actually have plus ones everywhere, and this is best lines. Like, I just straight up did best lines. This is what it gave me, so I'll take it. And then on defense, we got all plus ones as well, which, you know, that's gonna work. I'm just curious, actually. Let's see what happens. All right, no. Mm, no, I'm not gonna do it. It said best lines. I'm just going with the game, because clearly it knows something I don't. And then we got hella buck and Lundqvist, so I don't know, man. Maybe 40 wins would be my guess, but I'm never right. Uh, I'm always the exact opposite of what I expect the team to be. Huberdeau is going to get the most points with 91. He's going to pop off. All right, 3-0-1 to start. Let's go. Well, we crashed down real fast, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm surprised. I was more surprised that we had a decent start, to be honest. This is one of those teams that is very streaky, at least until this point, you know? Like, we string together a bunch of wins, but then we also string together a bunch of losses after that. Let's go, Toronto! I wonder if, you know, I was it Caulfield and Perfetti, the two younger guys I took? I wonder if their overall is going to spike up, and they're going to be, you know, like 80 overalls. Come playoff time. I guess we'll find out, but that would be sick. That's also me boldly assuming that because we have a couple wins going together here, we're going to make the playoffs. That is not the case at all. We could very quickly crash and burn. So let's just hope that we don't do that. All right, the team is just sick. I don't know what you want me to say, but this is incredible. And now that I said that, we're probably going to go on like an 80 game losing streak, but maybe not. Maybe we'll just keep straight together some W's here. This team is resilient. I'll give them that. Well, let's see who is available at the deadline, shall we? Who will be? Getting potentially traded for. We got Barry, Letty, Tata, Ranta, Gustafson, Vlasic, Dreger. I think it's pronounced something like that. I'm not totally sure. Chara back where he was drafted in the aisle. And we got Lundqvist apparently on the block. I don't agree to that. But anyway, Phil Kessel also on the block. So Florida has three players on the block, was it? Yeah, they do. Okay, well, anyways, let's continue. Tyson Barry. And a third, and Trevor Van Riemsdyk headed to Ottawa in exchange for a first, O'Rourke, and a second. There you go, that's a pretty big trade. I don't think I've seen any coaches fired yet, which is interesting. So I guess everyone's kind of, at least, oh, well, there it is. Arizona Coyotes fired Toby Nash. Sorry, Tobes. That's my bad. I honestly didn't even really look and verify that the players I had in the lineup were the players that I drafted. So I'm kind of just hoping, but I, I'm pretty sure. And are we about to break 50? Are you kidding? We actually got 51 wins with this team. 51 wins with this team compared to the last team. That just makes zero sense to me. Well, let's go in here and check. So, Caulfield's an 82. Perfetti's a 77. Wayne Train's 79. That's all right, though. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is everyone I drafted on forwards. So, that's right. On defense, yeah, it looks good. And then in that, I, yeah, I checked that one. So, okay, cool. So the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with 51 wins, 113 points, which will get them the Atlantic Division title in the entire league. Oh, come on, Colorado with 113. They tied us, but their row was more than us, so they finished above us, unfortunately. Okay, well, it is what it is, but still, what a great season from Toronto. That's incredible. I was not ready for that when we started the simulation, but there it is. And it turns out Claude Giroux got the most points with 86. Let's go, Claude. Huberdo point a game at 82. Thornton, 73. Hoffman, 56. Felino up there at 55. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Let's go. This team, Didn't Felino start at an 82? He's up to 84? I could be completely wrong on that, but I think he did. Anders Lee. All right, good job, guys. Good job. Dash 14 for Caulfield. Oh, boy. 33 points, though. Good for you. Perfetti dash 11. Yeah, that bottom line struggled. But anyway, they managed to keep afloat. 42 wins for Hellebuck and seven shutouts, 918, 245. A record of 92 and 3 for Lundqvist. No shutouts, 907, 267. Good job. Our goalies did well for sure. Well, anyway, let's check out the entire league. And Hellebuck gets the most wins by a bit there. We've got uh, Kakinen, Kakonen. I'm not fully sure. Sorry, Capo. That's. What I'm just going to call you from now on, but 
yeah, you got defeated by Hellebuck by three there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's check out the forwards now, or skaters, I should say. We've got Malkin with Yart Ross, 110. Shifley, 106. 102 with Crosby. 97 with Cooch. All right. So, yeah, some... Very good. Kadri with 89. Let's go, Kadri. What an absolute beast. It is time to 9-1 as our first game. Jeez, this team is unbelievable. All right. Well, keep it going here. Don't you dare let them come back. Don't even think about it. Okay. That was an easy first round. 4-1. We have the Buffalo Sabres up next. How will Toronto do against them? Let's find out. Overtime loss. Win. Come on. There we go. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. You guys, are you in classic Toronto fashion? At least I made it to round two. 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 There's always next year, right, guys? Anyway, Nashville Predators, Stanley Cup champions. Let's go check out their roster real quick, and then we'll check out the awards. And we will find our way. Actually, I guess it was Colorado that won the presidents, I think. Giroux is 17 points. 12 games. Let's go, Claude. Absolute unit. I am... Possibly mixing up teams again, though. Was it Colorado that beat us out? Yeah, it was. So let's check out Colorado's roster. And let's check out the Nashville Predators roster. So, boom. And let's make our way up to Nashville here. Boom. They have Kadri with 89. Kyle Connor, 87. Taylor Hall. All right. They have a good team, but nothing, like, insane. I don't know. Good for them, though. Good for them. They made it work. Let's check out their goaltending. They had Bishop and Reimer. So, yeah, they did very well in the season. He had 39 wins. Definitely a good team. And Colorado was the other team we wanted to check out just to sort of see what they got going on. Hudobin was the starter, and he put up 34 dubs. Good for him. They had Olmark as the backup. They didn't really split duty, but, you know, it was pretty close uh, compared to, you know, I guess a very, very distinct starter and a backup. Patrick Kane, 87 Stamkos, 86. Nuge. Okay, so yeah, their team, I am so far kind of understanding. They have a very talented squad here. Let's check out the awards. I can feel my voice giving up on me. This is my fourth video in like a few a couple hours, few hours, I guess. Yeah, Nashville Predators, Colorado, Nashville, and Buffalo. Individual, we got Malkin and Crosby as the first two there. So the Art Ross and the Hart. Yossi with the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Olafson. Calder goes to Lafreniere. Kyle Connor with the Con Smythe. Darcy Kemper gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Zadorov with the Masterton. Hebert Heber, I have no idea, gets the Jack Adams. O'Reilly with the Selkie. Crosby with the Ted Lindsay. And the Maurice Ragwishar goes to Evgeny Malkin. Here is the playoff tree. That's how it all went down. I'm still proud of the boys. I think we made one hell of a run. I kind of want to check out just to see if they grew even more in the playoffs there. Giroux came in at an 88 overall, I think. So he even went up an overall. And Hiberto was a 91. 91, I think. So he went up one as well. Jumbo went up one. Hoffman went down one, I think. Felino was up to 85 now. Yandel went up one. Bobby Ryan went up two. Anders Lee stayed the same. Zuccarello, I think, stayed the same. Hyman went up one. Caulfield definitely went up. And Petrie, 87. He was that to begin with. Edler, I'm not sure. Demir's, I think, stayed. Suter went down one, I think. Simmons went down two. Perfetti was a 74, so I think he went up two. Sherratt was in... I think he was an 80. I was going to say 81, but no, I think he was an 80. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, that's incredible. I doubt our goalies changed, but let's just have a look. Because I think it was 90 and 84, and it's still 90 and 84. Okay. Well, anyways, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon.